Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another video. So today's video is my update video for July. So um, all the layouts and projects that I've got done in July and uh, you know plans for August. So uh, yeah, I think there's 10, oh, not sure now how many there are. I did more than I thought I would though, so that's good. So this first one is uh, my birthday layout. So this is kind of like my main birthday layout because um, I like to throw everything at my birthday layouts, all my best stash and everything. So as you can see, I've got lots of Bramble Fox pieces on here, lots of Dotty Bat Flare pieces, some nice sort of foam stickers there and uh, yeah, so that's that one. Now, there is a video for every layout. So all these layouts have got a video. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with them. This one I did for, I think this might have been for the red, white and blue challenge at Dotty About Flair. Um, and it's just about me going to the HQ there, to Adam's place. Um, Bamba Fox pieces. Just this lovely large photo that I printed from my office computer. And this lovely... Um, crown here that Jackie Gearing gave to me and I made it red. I'm just looking closely at that because it looks as though it's, uh, I don't know, it looks as though there's a little splodge inside that. I'll have to check that later. But yeah, so basically I just made my own journaling card in white and uh, outlined that in faux stitching. I used up some very old alphas here as well for the title, the dotted back flare pieces. Yeah, I, look, I do really like to use a large photo on layouts. I, I re it's one of my favourite things to do. And this is just a simple grid style layout that I did using this, uh, it's actually a Christmas paper, <laughs> but I use the grid side of it. Bramble Fox title there and Dotty Bat Flare pieces as well and some Project Life cards here. Yeah, very, just a very simple layout because I just thought that that photo was kind of like the feature of the layout. I mean, photos are always the feature of the layout anyway, but you know, I particularly like that photo. And then this is one that I did um, have my friend visiting. Use these beautiful Ricky Boot and Sweet Rush papers. Dotty about Flare again. Bramble Fox, these lovely little glass pieces that my friend Moira sent to me. Those tags that I've been using. Tassels, not tags. That's that one. Like I say, videos for all of them. This one I did for um, some bird life activity in the garden, murmuration, starlings. Lots of Bramble Fox pieces on here again. Vicky Boot in Fernwood, I believe. Um, and some Dotty Bat Flare pieces, of course. Um, this one is a double page layout. So I did manage a couple of those this month. Um, this was just uh, older photos, actually, from last year. Um, just at the beach. Dotty Bat Flare pieces again, tracing paper here. I like to use that on my backgrounds as well. Lots of sequins, Bramble Fox title pieces. Vicky Beat and Sweet Rush heart sticker there. And uh, yeah, that's that double page there. And uh, these ones I said in the video, I'd used uh, my ink pad just to stamp, just to make sure that the ink was okay. Um, and I just kind of kept them, these little squares, <laughs> quite liked them. <laughs> they were like test pieces. That's that double page, and then this one, um, Elvis the Donkey, Embrace Chaos title. Um, lots of Vicky Beat and Sweet Rush again on here. Bramble Fox, Dotty About Flare, some stash items here that I've had for a long time. These stars, and this particular Dotty About Flare piece, you know, Flare piece is one that I probably would find difficult to use, but it just went absolutely perfectly with this layout. So, yeah. There's always a flair for that, as we say. This is my Dotty Bat Flair design team page. And it was, oh, this might have been red, white and blue, actually. Well, it is red, white and blue, but I'm not sure whether I did it for that or whether it was the other one. I can't remember now. But anyway, it'll be in the video. did a little bit of stenciling on here. And I did some ribbon from Bramble Fox. Again, Bramble Fox, Dotty Bat Flair, Steagle Mom Scraps here. This lovely Jubilee collection from Bramble Fox. Just a simple textured cardstock, red and white and blue used here on that one. And then this is one I did for Christmas in July. Um, yeah, just an a old piece of cardstock or old, or I think it was gifted to me. Some simple stories pieces here. Some Bramble Fox again, Dotty Bat Flare again. Very old alphabet again. Use the same one that I used on the other layout. 
I had it in the two colours and uh, some simple stories foam alphas there that's another one and then another, this is the final one for the month which is my double page layout of uh, buddy it's freedom day yesterday or was it the day before it was the day before so um, yeah he was able to go out for a little walk for the first time in six weeks and he also went to the groomers eh? and uh, yeah just use this cavalier king charles paper from scrapbook customs and the foam alphas from simple stories color vibe lots of little bits and bobs on here i found these butterflies and bees in my stash which i think are simple stories dotted about flare pieces again and bramble fox of course and these frames that mum gave to me so i'd got there was a packet of them and i took six out of the packet and used them i chopped them in half or not quite in half but i chopped them and this is a sketch number 35 at um scrapper sketch designed by lisa sikorsky so I, what I did was, this was the sketch, and I did a mirror of it on this side, and that's in the video. So like I say, there's videos for all of these layouts, so you can go and take a look at the videos if you wanted to. Now then, I've been working on my um, Traveller's Notebooks again this month, and this one's finished now, almost finished. I'll be finishing it today. So we're starting off here. We ended last time with the Elvis movie. So this is... Um, this is Buddy and I watching Moira O'Reilly on YouTube, and she's actually scrapbooked this. She's actually scrapped this this photo herself on a YouTube channel. It might even be the latest video because I just I think I just watched it yesterday, so it's a recent video, and you should go and watch it because it's amazing. And uh, yeah, so that was just me and Bud watching uh, Moira's video there. And then this one was uh, just about how we sort of managing to get Bud to settle under the desk in his basket with his lead attached to something obviously so he can't uh, move too much uh, whilst he's in his confinement. Vicky booting sweet rush pieces here and um, project life cards as usual um, and then over on this side just I took a photo of some nice flowers in the garden again Vicky booting things um, and then I booked to see the bootleg beetles here on the Isle of Wight um, and I use those simple stories foam alphas there, colour vibes. Some just stamp a little bit stamp in there. And then um, this was just after I'd been to the dentist. Yeah, this month was a little bit tricky because I had to get a crown fitted and yeah, I had a few problems with it. But um, it's fine now, it's all done. Anyway, this was the day that I came back from. Uh, I think I'd had the temporary one fitted that day and it did last about a week, but it did come off in the end and the dentist was closed and everything and <laughs> did finally get it done but um, the day that I went to get it done was the day when Chester was poorly at the vet so <laughs> yeah uh, it was a bit crazy but anyway yeah this was uh, one day when Chester was a bit quiet one day and I didn't know where he was and I found him in the utility lying on his back bed which was ready to be washed and he did seem better the next day I wondered whether he'd ate an apple from the tree in the garden I don't know they're not eating apples but we don't know and actually he was a bit poorly later on but, and, and we don't know what that was about either, but we'll come to that in a minute. My parents came to visit and I took mum to the zoo. Um, they got a new lima enclosure there at the Isle of Wight Sanctuary there. Took some photos of the animals. Um, yeah, just it was really strange because we were just walking around and they were just about to do like a demonstration where they put some food into the enclosure. But whilst they do that, the 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 lions have to go into like the en the closed building but it's got a really large window and we didn't know that they were there and we just walked up to it and oh my gosh it was just incredible to see they're so you know they're large but when you get that close to them they're it's terrifying they are really large <laughs> but it's really interesting and then dad finally got his father's day ice cream we went to get him that to enjoy a visit Mum got a Jubilee trifle that I'd kept in the freezer for her, so she enjoyed that as well. This was a photo down at, near the zoo, actually, just down near the beach there. And then whilst my parents were here, my, my friends came over as well because um, they were camping in the New Forest and ordinarily we'd go and see them, but because we couldn't travel because of Buddy, and they came here. So they just came here for the day and we had a lunch at home and uh, I took them back to the ferry and we had a walk down a pier and stuff. And actually one of those layouts that I just showed you was uh, that photo a photo down there with my friends so yeah that was really nice and that was the day when I had trouble with my tooth oh gosh still it's done now um and then um I was in my craft room and I'd managed to get Buddy to settle under the desk 
um, and Chester was just at the door <laughs> wondering what was going on. But yeah, it, I think one of the reasons why I've been able to do some crafting this month, or quite a bit of crafting this month, is because I managed to get Buddy to settle with me in the craft room when my husband's not here to watch him. And also, it works both ways because sometimes he'll be in the office with my husband so I can get things done, or I'll have him and my husband can get things done. Um, yeah, so mum and dad went home. We just took a photo on the last day with the dogs. Um, and I think I did go in my craft room that day. <laughs> so, and then... Um, Chester went to the vets for his um, vaccinations and he also actually just happened to be booked at the groomer the same day and they offered us a vaccination appointment at the vet and I didn't want to turn it down because they're quite hard to come by at the moment. He was overdue anyway. So yeah, I met my friend for lunch and then um, Buddy went for his four week check at the hospital on the mainland for his spinal issue and um, yeah, he, he was much, much better. They flexed him and everything and they couldn't find a problem. Any problems, he was fine. So we had, an, that meant another two weeks of confinement, which took took us up to this weekend, which was when he had his kind of freedom day. So yeah, he's uh, from now onwards for the next four weeks, we've just got to increase his activity gradually. Uh, um, Lisa, uh, Lisa Sikorsky at Scrapper Sketch just announced the creative team which is starting in August so I'll be doing that next next month and I'm on that team with all these amazing ladies and then um, Chester last weekend no not last weekend two weekends ago he did become poorly on the Sunday with his tummy and then he refused to eat and oh yeah I had to take him to the emergency vet and he was admitted overnight so yeah I don't know whether the previous issue was anything to do with that or whether he just picked something up or whether it was to do with the heat wave or I just don't know we don't know what it was anyway yeah that was on the Sunday and on the Monday morning was when I was going back to the dentist to get my final dental work done and I just didn't want to like miss it and I was worried about being late to pick Chester up from the vet you know because he'd been in overnight and everything but actually he had to stay in until the afternoon so I got my dental work done in the morning picked up Chester in the afternoon so gosh yeah that was quite a day and then I just documented the heat wave so on the Monday on the 18th my village was um 35.8 degrees and um yeah it was the third hottest on the island and then the next day it wasn't in the highest but yeah it was still high and on this day the tuesday i was at the donkey sanctuary um doing my yeah donkey spotting but i spent most of the day inside the barn which i think most of the visitors did as well so yeah gosh <laughs> that was quite a day that was and yeah i mentioned the heat rash because yeah we get a few days of hot weather then the heat rush comes out it's gone now thankfully the heat's gone as well so great <laughs> i'm not one for the heat uh, i went to see the bootleg beatles which i'd booked earlier you saw the booking earlier in my album and i've got an elvis but i always like to wear my elvis badge and i've got a beatles badge as well it just so happens that my elvis badge is bigger <laughs> i've only got a small beatles badge <laughs> but there you go <laughs> and that was just a really nice evening yeah just sat outside listening to music it's just really good and there i've seen this band before it's I'm pretty sure it was a different lineup because it was quite a few years ago. Um, I saw them in Liverpool at the Beatles week. Um, but yeah, they're just amazing, like absolutely amazing, incredible show. It's just really, really nice evening. The weather stayed fine, thankfully, because it was the one day on the weather forecast for that week that they gave out rain. Um, and I think it rained a little bit during the day in places, but in the evening it was fine and it wasn't too hot either, so that was good. And then I found out that Buddy, the musical, is coming back to Southampton in 2023, so booked that. Saw that in 20... The last time I saw that was January 2020, actually, just before the pandemic. So, yeah, booked two shows for that, and then um, my bed linen had a tear in it, so I just thought I'd get some new. I did a bit of research. I found this red squirrel bed linen. We have red squirrels here on the island, so uh, yeah, I thought I'd get that. And then I was a bit cheeky with this alphabet, really, because that's a seven. They're U's and that's a three, but I thought I'd make the word linen out of it. And I think I've said it before, I wouldn't normally do that. I would never do that on a layout, but in my traveller's notebook, I'm quite happy to do that. And to be honest, there's not much left in that alpha set, so I thought I'd just use a few bits from it. I think you can read what it says. Um, yeah. And then my friend Stephanie Wright, she sent me this photo of this T-Rex in Norwich on their trail, the T-Rex trail. And uh, I think it was a T-Bird one, but I named it Rockabilly Rex. And uh, yeah, she sent it to me because she knew I'd like it. And it's amazing. I'd absolutely love to go and see that. Not possible at the moment, but yeah, gosh, that would be amazing. And this is um, Buddy again on his Freedom Day. So I've done a layout and I mentioned it previously. But this was the actual day that he went out. Um, just a different photo from the ones I put on the layout just to say that he had his short walk and went to the groomers. And then the final page is going to be the Euro 2022 uh, women's final, which is today. 
five o'clock. Um, hopefully the ladies will win. I'm sure they will, but I'm just going to wait until that's over before I, you know, put the information in. And then that is this one finished. So, yeah. Obviously we had the Jubilee in here, so there's quite a lot of uh, stuff going on for that, which made it even more chunky. Um, yeah. So that's two I've got for 2022 now. And I'm sort of pretty sure I will start another one, but, you know, I didn't expect there to be like three. I enjoy doing them. But yeah, it's, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure I'll do it. I'll say I probably won't. I'll stop now, but I don't think I will. And this is my donkey traveller's notebook, which I've been working in. So I think last time we looked, we were at the bit where we won the award. And then um, since then, um, I went back again for my next visit, my next uh, session. And uh, Elvis was hiding from me that day. So I didn't really get a photo of him. But I found some donkeys for the visitors and uh, just took a photo of Tonic who actually came from near where I live originally. And uh, yeah, just a little update on them. And then um, another tagged on to another tour. And the nursery boys, the four young donkeys, were seeing the dentist for the first time. There was lots of new collars around. So yeah, it was, uh, that was a good day. And I mentioned Hazel here, but... Um, yeah, sadly she's since passed away. It's in. I've got it documented in here. It's very sad. I did a, a school tour, which was really good. The children were great. Asked lots of questions and everything. And did a poem for Dolly. Still do my poems. All on my Instagram if you want to look. Helen Rockabilly Girl. I did one for Jim Bob. Jim Bob came from Carysbrook Castle. He used to uh, work for English Heritage, turning the water wheel for the visitors. He retired to the donkey sanctuary five years ago. He's the most famous donkey at the sanctuary. He's really popular and he's really lovely donkey as well. He's, he likes visitors. And then I was just saying about um, how hot it was that day. And um, like I said before, I spent a lot of time in the barn. And Nick and Coffee, two of the donkeys were in there. Because um, Coffee's got a hoof issue. So uh, yeah, I was telling the visitors all about their story. Nick's blind and the visitors like to hear the story of those two donkeys, companion donkeys. Um, this was, was this the week later or was this, yeah, I'm not sure now if it's the week later or not, is it? Not sure. Anyway, Billy Boy, my dog Billy who passed away a few years ago, um, yeah, you know, Billy Boy here is actually a Shetland, not a, a donkey, but yeah, we always, you know, I always say hello to him, it reminds me of my little Billy. Elvis was having his breakfast that day, so I caught him having, it was really funny because he was in a pen having his extra food that morning, so he couldn't get away. So I was able to say hello to him. But actually, later on that day, he was by the fence when I went up there to show some visitors another donkey. So, um, yeah, I spent quite a bit of time with him that day. It was really good. And then um, I'm do I was doing just saying that I was doing another school tour, and they asked me to do another school tour, and also... Um, they asked me if I'd work on the adoption desk over the summer and I said yes, so I'll be going there twice a week in the summer. And then my lovely friend Moira O'Reilly adopted Elvis, bless her, um, just to support me in the sanctuary and everything because she knows how important it is to me. So yeah, just incredible. <laughs> it's just like amazing. And every time I go now, I take a photo for her and give her a little update on Elvis. I did a uh, poem for Charford Jack, who's another donkey at the sanctuary. Charford Jack, or CJ as he's called, or known, came to an um, an event that we did a few years ago, an Elvis Day for charity. He came to it one time when Elvis wasn't able to. And then Elvis came the next time. So yeah, quite fond of Charford Jack. And then I did the school group this time and yeah, it didn't go so well as the first one because they didn't have a lot of time and I just I wasn't really too happy about that. I felt as though that they should have had more time for a free tour, you know. Didn't feel as I could do a proper tour. But anyway, you know, it, it, it was done and uh, I enjoyed doing it. So. And then Elvis came to see me, so I took another photo of him. You can never have too many photos of Elvis, that's what I say. And then this was just that sad news that I was saying that Hazel passed away. I went in on the Tuesday and she passed away on the Sunday. And uh, kind of strange really because my friend had seen the donkey bus on the ferry on the Saturday and I wondered why. Um, yeah, she just took ill. She had organ failure. And she wasn't very old. She came to the sanctuary with Hannah, so Hannah's kind of left on her own. But she's, you know, they've been here a few weeks, quite since May, really. So beginning of May. So, you know, she's done quite well. She's with all the other donkeys and everything. So what they've done is they've put her um, later on in here. You'll see that she's with Belle. Um, so yeah, that was quite sad, really. 
and then just a little update really it was a hot day that day and amber was back in the herd after her surgery and the other two older donkeys were back in their herd and i managed to uh, the lady there help let me help her with some head collars and um i had to retrieve a hat from a paddock for a visitor so <laughs> that was quite exciting um saw elvis obviously i caught him again eating his breakfast so that was good but yeah, it was a very hot day that day, really difficult day, uh, very hot and just, oof, yeah, trying to just keep out the heat really. This is the day I went to do the adoption desk the first time, had a quick lesson and just got on with it. I did five adoptions that day, so Tonic, Sotty, Merlin, Murphy and Burr. No adoptions of Elvis. <laughs> oh dear, funny, I'm so funny. Right, and then back again for my usual day, school holidays the first week. Um, and this was when Belle was with Hannah, so they were together and they were grazing in the lower paddock. So I think they wanted Hannah to get some grazing. So Belle, who is a little bit wobbly and is normally in the hospital wing, was down there with her. So that was really nice to see. And then the two youngsters were in the had been put into the the Euro Stars group, so um, they were no longer on their own. They'd integrated them into another group, so that's good. Helped to move the boards as well. And uh, yeah, so caught Elvis having his breakfast again. He was doing yoga, I said, to try and get to his breakfast. He was pushing his head through the uh, through the fence there. And then a little girl asked, I asked a little girl to stroke Elvis if she found him because she was going up to see another donkey in that herd. And uh, later on, she came back to find me to tell me that she'd found Elvis. And uh, her dad said that she couldn't wait to come back and tell me. I was really excited about that. So happy. <laughs> Every opportunity I get, I mention Elvis <laughs> to the visitors. <laughs> Um, and then this was my second day at the adoption desk and I managed seven adoptions that day. So Scooby, Dylan, Barbara, Rosie Lee, Jim Bob, India and Harvey. And uh, I didn't actually get close to Elvis that day. I, he was far away in the field, so I didn't get a photo or anything. And I just popped a little bit of personal journal in there. That um, I just want that to stay personal. Um, it's just something nice that someone said to me, but it, yeah, it's, uh, it's just private. And then um, I did a poem for Belle. So poem for Belle because we found out that Belle is actually um, that Hannah is actually Belle's daughter and they didn't know that before Hannah came to the sanctuary it's just that um, they checked when all donkeys have like a passport with all their information and when they checked Hannah's passport they realised that she was daughter to Belle because they'd both come from the island obviously so yeah I did a little poem for Belle there and uh, yeah, that's the end of that. So um, that's my two um, Traveller's Notebooks that I've been working in. Um, pleased with what I've done there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I come to the end of this one. I, do, I've, I also adopted Belle. I'd forgot to put that in the in the book earlier. So um, yeah, I just put that in here at the back. And then I need to, I made a mistake there. I need to just wipe that off. And then here, I just thought I'd put a little bit of information about things that happened so that Hannah passed away. And then there was another group of donkeys that had actually gone, moved elsewhere from the sanctuary. So, yeah, and they were ponies that had gone, they've gone somewhere else to live. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be doing another one, I'm sure. Even though <laughs> this one's really chunky and it's only a very short period of time. So, um, yeah, so next month I'll be doing my... Um, Design team layouts for Dotty Batfly and Scrapper Sketch, obviously, challenges and things, carrying on with my traveller's notebooks, hopefully getting layouts done as usual. Um, spending, I've already done that little video um, with my my haul video already. Now, the only thing I've purchased since then is these five uniball pens. I just wanted to get, I was fed up with picking pens up that weren't working properly, so I just got like a multi colour set and actually these are really good so I might get some more of those because I've all those colours I'll use regularly so yeah that's all I got apart from I did get myself a little shredder for my craft room because I'm more likely to just shred things straight away rather than them piling up in my little box that I keep here for my recycling and my shredding because I put everything in one box and then I end up having to sort it out again later and it just sits there for ages and ages and ages so I thought right I'm getting a shredder shred things that need to be shredded straight away recycle things that need to be <laughs> recycled straight away so uh, yeah <laughs> hopefully that'll be the case I did make a card I think I'll, I'll add a picture at the end of the video of that because it's a new home card and it's actually gone off so I haven't got that to hand it's actually gone to America so yeah that's uh, gone um, yeah, I took the Vicky Boot in class. I did watch some of it, not all of it. Um, it's an amazing class and it's well worth the money, but I definitely will not make good use of it because I'm just not going to make that album. I haven't actually watched all the layout video. 
there was cards and album and it's really really long like hours and hours and hours long which is great value some people actually literally sit and do the whole thing and they do it either in real time or they do it later and they create like exactly the things that Vicky's created that's not what I'll do um, I will watch the videos the rest of the ones that I haven't watched but I don't think I'll be actually recreating any of the layouts or anything I may do but um, I don't think so but yeah it's really interesting to watch and obviously learning techniques and everything so I enjoy this it. uh, really good value for money um, but yeah, I'm not the one that's going to sit there and recreate that exact album or anything. So um, yeah. And then I have done my birthday month album, believe it or not. It's finished. It's chunky, not too bad, but a little bit chunky. And here it is. But what I'm going to do is, this video is quite long, so what I'm going to do is do a separate video with a flip through of my birthday month album finished finished it today completely finished really pleased i started it the other day when my husband was on the mainland and i was watching bud and he was quiet for quite a while and just somehow started doing it and over the last few days i've every time i've had like a moment i've just popped into my room and done a little bit more and a little bit more and it's finally finished i had actually got all the photos in place already and i'd got all a lot of the um you know all the card that I was using and everything and even embellishments were in the pockets for most of it I mean I did add quite a bit to it as I was working on it but yeah most of it, it was quite it was really well prepped so yeah I did that at the end of April the prep most of it and I prepped it all the way up to the end of the month as well so um, yeah it was really really well prepped and I just managed to whiz through it over the last few days so I'm really pleased to get that done still got my road trip album to do um, I haven't actually prepped that or started that at all, apart from I have print some photos I did print uh, a while back and I've just came across them recently, I've forgotten that I did it, so yeah, um, yeah, so that's my next big project, the road trip one, and then I've also got another album that I, from a holiday that we took in 2018, that I, re I realised a while after that, you know, quite a long time after that, that for whatever reason I've never done an album for it and I just didn't know why. I think it was like a year or two later that I realised I'd not done an album for it and it's been on my list for ages to do and I was like, oh, shall I do it? Shall I not do it? You know, and uh, I've kind of decided that I am going to do that, definitely. I've actually, what I've done is I've sent off the photos to be printed at um, a photo printing service rather than printing them at home because I think that's one of the reasons that was putting me off doing it because, you know, it's so far after the fact that, it was going to be a lot of hassle printing and I'm on my little printer here and I don't really like the quality from the office printer so yeah I've sent off those photos so what I might do I might just do that as a project like maybe in October when it's the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel at the beginning of October I might try and do not a video a day but you know I might try and do like what a little series in October of me working on that album from start to finish so I might pre-record some videos for that and uh, yeah we'll see anyway that's my idea but that will be in probably not until October because I need to sort of think about how I want to do it and everything but um yeah August will just be the usual layouts and hopefully I'll be working on that road trip album and um, yeah so we'll see at the end of the month so once again um thank you very much for joining me I hope you've enjoyed this little update and um stay safe take care and I shall see you next time